Hey, what's up everyone? Amin is here and welcome back to yet another video and in this video I'm gonna show you a super cool effect like this Wow Wow, man That was super cool Super quick Wow So I am gonna show you this effect in Final Cut Pro So let's get into it Wow. So I'm gonna show you this effect right now in this video and let's jump into it. So you guys must know who Peter McKenna is. He is an awesome YouTuber, vlogger, and a great photographer. And he recently released a vlog in where he used the night crawl effect in that video. So I thought I can make a video and to show you how to do that effect in Final Cut Pro X. Here I am talking in front of the camera. I just jump up like this, showing it like I am being teleported. And then I move to the other side of the screen and did exactly the same thing. But I just make sure I land it uh, like I just teleported when I hit the ground. Now we got the clip. Let's open the Final Cut Pro and do this super cool effect bring your clip to the project timeline drag it all the way like this and just cut the clip where you just about to jump like like this press B on your keyboard to bring up blade tool and then okay, and then cut the clip where, where you just about to land or falling right there and then delete the middle clip and then you have something like this okay now let add some cloud dust or shockwave um, don't know whatever you want to call it you can call it okay drag it like this above the clip and yeah place it on top of each other and now what you need to do just come over to the inspector tab Change the blend mode to subtract. Do the same thing for this clip. Subtract. Now you have this. Now you need to place it on the right place. What you need to do, just click on the transform button or icon and put this one on the top other one on the bottom like this and you're good to go and you where you you can scale it a little bit like this do the same thing for the other clip and like this I think and then make it faster just come over here and make it eight times faster like this now you have something like this okay just just put it where you just where you just about to I think right there okay yeah that's better now copy these two clips there's two ways to do it you can go to edit copy or command C and then you can paste it or you can do the other way press alt on your keyboard and drag it to this side there you go and now what you need to do is just press it on the top where you just about landing and right there okay 
so bring it here and now what you need to do you need to scale it down now you have Okay, but for this two clip, you can speed it up just about four. Yeah, I guess. And now you can look for the sound effect. So here I have two sound effect: quick whoosh and hard hit effect. So drag it select and then drag it and yeah like this cool and do the same thing where you just about to start okay transition browser under transition browsing look for the cross dissolve It will help soften uh, the in and out transition. So, okay, two for these two clips as well. Okay. Now, here what we have got. Okay, let's see. Wow, that looks good. Now and. Effect number two, teleporting to another location. The process is about the same as we did for this one. So what you need to do, just bring you your clips. So here I have the clips, drag it like this. And, and then where you just about jump, Got it right there. There you go. Just press B on the keyboard and there you go, like this. And then you probably need a clean plate just for about for a second. Okay. Delete this part. Don't need it now 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 look for the clean plate is here so there we go that's the clean plate okay now bring the other clip it's right here Okay, do the same thing. Right there. Okay, B. Press B on your keyboard, which to bring up a uh, blade tool and cut the clip right there. And then delete the middle one. You don't need it. Now we have something like this now bring the these two clips again now come over here to the inspector tab change the blend mode to subtract for each clip hit on transform so that's need to place in the right there you go so that should be right here Okay, so let's 
there we go now let's see now we have something like this if you like the video smash the like button below and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time peace